returning subscriber, thank you for returning. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy this soul care routine. So I literally just got myself some tea. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I literally got the box, the box that um, I just um, made my tea. Um, and by the time you're watching this, this is actually around about roughly 5 30 a.m um i decided to get some special teas um today so the one that i'm i'm literally drinking right now is um this one here tetley and it's called boost with vitamin b6 so that's what i'm currently drinking now um it says it helps reduce tiredness and fatigue i did not know that they had teas like this that had vitamins like vitamin b specifically in it so that's really amazing um so i started to use this and i love it in the morning when you just want to feel calm so these are the two teas that i bought um so this one is poco and it's by chamomile so the flavor is chamomile vanilla manuka honey um so yeah that's what i use and i normally would have it like with either i would have the tea bag with honey or with brown sugar so whichever you want to sweeten your tea with that's what you can use <coughs> sorry guys so i um so i got this just to help me feel you know i know chamomile helps to help you feel calm next one is still pucker um and this one here is for like night time so this can be either for morning or evening or you know, just before you go to bed to help you keep sleep calm this one i specifically got i specifically got right for night time so yeah so today i'm gonna be doing um like i've already prayed so i prayed um i just like this you know just like, like this nice candle here um let me just show you guys like the candle that i have this one here just like this candle and it's called calm um and it's a luxury scented candle and it says here just breathe so this candle here has like three layers it has lavender up the top um jasmine um in the middle and on the base it has musk and i tell you this smells so heavenly i mean this smells so similar to um you know the candles that i always rave about that smells like um like you're on a holiday like this is like to that level really really nice um i love candles um so yeah i'm gonna have a bit of i'm gonna read a bit of this as well um here it is so i'm doing my bible study um on joy right and um that's what i'm gonna do first then i'm gonna read this um which you've seen already worry less pray more and then came all these a small devotional day seven and the topic is joy is a response by believers for god's forgiveness um so i'm going to be reading today psalms 32 right so i'm gonna read my bible and go to psalms 32 psalm psalm 32 it says forgiveness brings true joy right only when we ask god to forgive our sins will he give us real happiness and relief from guilt right so that's the theme for today i'm gonna read to you guys as well um since you're on this journey with me all right so psalm 32 i hope you have your bibles and it says oh what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven whose sin is put out of put out of sight right verse 2 says yes what joy for those whose record the lord has cleared of guilt whose lives are lived in complete honesty when i refuse to confess my sin my body wasted away and i groan all day long all right, so I set the timer to like one hour. Um, so that's that. So I forgot to let you guys know as well. So before I 
you know before i i didn't really plan i didn't really plan to have a soul care today to be honest but what i did i made a plan the day before yesterday i, I made a plan yesterday um that i'll be doing some work productivity work today so i need to wake up very early that's why i woke up about 5 30 well i woke up five o'clock um but by the time i get back downstairs <clears throat> you know it's 5 30 so yeah i think i came down about 5 20 but um i made a plan so i used this little like little i used like this daily planner here and i made it myself um literally it's an ideal i think it's an ideal planner because i wanted a planner that was it reflected me and it had like you know it was it was um it has time block as well because i'm realizing that if i time block then that should help me give me a rough idea where i can squeeze in the activities that i want to do for the day so literally i have like the date i have like um the days of the week right here and then i have like the bit that says today i'm grateful for because i want to practice and um, being grateful unto god and i just want to thank god have that grateful heart because that's really really good um god loves a grateful heart you know because it shows that you accept you know that you're 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 it shows that you're appreciative of god's gift towards you so everything in everything that in your life literally it's a gift from god so it, you thanking him is showing like appreciation and then here this is what i did i put will do's instead of to do's i put will do's because i will do them in jesus name i even start praying that lord help me to be productive today be with you know help me to complete the task at hand today i started praying that because um it, it, I, I see a difference like when i pray for like progress in productivity today god does move um so because i'm a I'm, I'm i'm a person that always procrastinates which is not good so hence why i'm so strict with myself right now because i know if i buckle down um i know that i will see results um as i said the patrons get everything like from i think for january offer it has been a lot <laughs> we have um this winter collection how to you know this challenge sheet winter collection how to spend time with god various ways and um, for 31 days they have that um then they're gonna get this daily planner here um alongside you know the bible tracker as well so i have like this little bible habit tracker that you know no one is ever an expert in reading the bible like keep it on track so i decided to just get myself and the patreons and anyone who's interested really on building your habit um, for the bible right reading the bible so i literally have um a one year habit tracker so with life in life you have to be intentional if you're not intentional it won't happen so i have to be very intentional and know my why why am i doing this because if i pray three times a day that could be any time of day right um that will help me get closer to god and my aim this year is to be closer to god oh yeah this is part of my soul care and um, box guys this little mug here i got it from amazon and it says trust in the lord and then inside it says like it has like this cross and it says the lord is with me so i think it's a really nice mug um so yeah patrons know everything before i drop any product if before i announce anything um patreon already know <laughs> so you have to definitely sign up on the patreon list literally um so there's three membership levels the first one is um faith movers so they have like you know everyone always have like a dig digital download every single month and then um so if you're a faith mover you get the free digital download early access to my videos so that mean even before youtubers you know like my subscribers see this you guys will already have it there'll be a patreon shout out and for the faith warriors um you have like live q a with me so you have if you have any questions regarding reading your bible or quiet time which is what i tend to talk about so if you have any questions if you're unsure about anything you can definitely ask me um questions and stuff like that or if you need prayer 
you know i'll be praying i'm always a natural prayer warrior anyway like i always like to intercede for people so that's that <clears throat> right so there's so faith warriors have live q a exclusive posts and updates so they get everything right and free digital download patreon shout out and early access to my video and the final one is um faith champions and they get like the most things so that's like live bible study or a live virtual vip event so that could be themed or anything like any special event right um there's also exclusive posts and updates live q a's early access to videos free digital download patreon shout out and you know an exclusive giveaway so they are the ones that can be um they can have an exclusive giveaway as well but literally when you sign up today there's like an offer going on um there's a bible color code and digital download that you'll get whether you sign up any of these levels so whether you are a faith mover to a faith champion you get this download um when you sign up so definitely consider signing up um so this will be for my patreon um literally normally i would have like washi tape and like a sticky note here so i decided to put one here to have like this as a little reminder so you have like you definitely be you know practicing gratitude unto god um doing your top three um will do's right and also meditating on the scripture because you'll be writing the scripture for the day along with time blocking so that's all like all in one productivity right so that's what i use so i plan my day the day before right so i already know what time i've already i've set one hour to um spend time with god so i made literally a bible routine in some way so from monday to friday at morning and evening i have like a bible routine what I, what I can do um so that when it does you know when oh, I, I won't be thinking what i should be doing right and then on the weekend saturday and sunday i would have like a plan um it just depends you know this is just there i made this bible routine plan um just in case i don't really know what to do on my in my quiet time and um, because i tend to have like loads of resources as you already know you see my war trolley um, and so it's kind of hard to like pick which one you want to do for that day if that makes sense and it's it sounds silly but you know it's best to have a plan and right now my plan because i put here soul care box right up the top so i might follow these plan and or i might just do a soul care box which is still spending time with god which is what i decided to choose today i did a soul care box so definitely create your own bible routine plan um you know so you have an idea if you do struggle in you know how to what would you like to do to spend time with god so this is my little bible routine plan um verse five we're at verse five wasn't it and um, verse five says finally i con i confess all my sins to you and stop trying to hide my guilt i said to myself i will confess my rebellion to the lord and you forgave me all my guilt is gone therefore let all the godly pray to you while there is still time that they may not drown in the in the flood waters of judgment for you are my hiding place hallelujah you protect me from trouble you surround me with songs of victory verse 8 says the lord says i will guide you along the best pathway for your life i will ad advise you and watch over you Amen. Verse 9 says, Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and, and brittle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Amen. Verse 11 and last says, So rejoice in the Lord. Uh, so, so rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all who obey him. Shout for joy, all, all you whose hearts are pure. So this is David um, speaking. Right. And we said that the theme was forgiveness. You know, when we ask God for forgiveness, it gives us true joy, right? Because he's the one that will forgive us of our sins when we come to so, so um, I tend to like write notes in my Bible as well, um, which I've already done like from previous time that I've read this. Uh, I've read this Psalm before. I think I've read most of the Psalms um because sounds my favorite book all right 
but i put here that god will god will give you true happiness and relief from guilt right and how do we receive true happiness and relief from guilt it is through forgiveness of sin which is what god does you know god is the one that will um forgive and then that will then bring forth true joy and real happiness and relief from your guilt and it says here i put it's important to confess our sins to god um when we know we have sinned against him so literally you know like david like if you notice how david is like david is a man that um is considered after god's own heart so that's what god says right he i i could understand why david was a man after god's own heart because you know he did so much things he killed a man for his wife he adult you know he committed adultery like how can he be a man of god of god you know god's own heart but he is and i realized with david that when he recognized that he sinned he he came to god he didn't run away he didn't stay in that sin um because you know here verse 32 verse 3 says that when i refuse to confess my sin my body wasted away and i groan all day long that is how it is when you refuse to confess that your body feels like it feels like it's wasting away right and that you groan all day long that's what david said when he doesn't confess his sin so he you know later down in the psalm you can see that he made the choice to confess because he knows the relief he knows um he knows the fruitfulness he knows the benefit of it when he does do it right because he said he i will confess my rebellion to the lord and you forgave me all my guilt is gone like one thing with god when he forgives you it's all forgotten it's not like people where they would still keep it against you or hold it against you like with god he forgives all sin one time like clean slate each time you know and i, I was like man god is so merciful unto us you know he, he didn't have to but he does he does forgive our sins um and that's how you know when you confess your sin um to god and you turn away from your sin um and you receive christ like he truly does forgive and that is how you're made right with god because you have faith in jesus that he died on the cross and um, for your sin and he rose again he lives again right so yeah and then verse 8 says the i will guide you along the best path for your life like, that's how i know that god will literally guide you on the best path you might think you know best but you don't know best like god knows best so he will guide you on the best path because he already knows the future he knows what's going to go down tomorrow before we even know it like he knows the future i'll link that video in the description box but um i did a video on the benefits of um worshiping god following god right being a jesus follower um there, there are benefits and you know one of the benefits i i've learned is that you know he will guide as a children of as as a child of god god will guide you and he will watch over you you know the fact that you have sleep that's a gift and a blessing from god the fact that you can sleep in peace and you don't have to be tormented or like I've never thought that sleep is a gift from God, but it is. Rest is a is a is a is a gift from God. Joy, a peace, a sound mind, they're all gifts from God. All right. So the first question is, what in what ways do you suffer when you keep silent, not wanting to tell God about a misstep you made? In what way do you suffer when you keep silent? Um, I would say that. I'd, I would feel guilty. That's what I would, I would say. I would feel guilty um, when I refuse to confess unto God. Especially, especially if I know that it's wrong. Because you just know, man. You just know when you do wrong. <laughs> especially when you, have, when you have the Holy Spirit, right? When you get saved. Like the Holy Spirit lives inside you. He's considered as the helper. Um, I've yet to do a deep study on that. But I downloaded some resources 
on it um so i'm really excited about starting that and you know on that journey so if you know jesus you, then you know god if you know god you know jesus you just vice versa but i'm excited that i'm almost finished with the bible plan about knowing god better it was really good um i think that's how i started my journey on finding god right um not that god needs to be found because literally um i would say that god has always been there it's just that we have not recognized him you know so but i call it find god because um of the bible study method and not only that i think finding god is about your journey your own journey on knowing god for yourself because other people can tell you about god but if you don't experience god for yourself right if you don't experience god for yourself on a personal level then you'll just you'll never know who god is so that's why i said find god you know join me on this find god journey um especially if you're like a new believer or if you're curious about god and you don't really know much about god but people always talk about god you know and i realized after reading the scripture that literally to know god you have to receive jesus as lord and savior to truly know god that's the first step in knowing god and then the other steps would will follow really so the second question is what kind of relief do you experience when you finally fess up to god um so when i what kind of relief do i have um i would say just freedom from guilt to be honest freedom from guilt because guilt oh my god guilt can be such a thing where it will just eat you alive right and but when you read in the bible um it says that literally when you refuse to receive christ that will lead to condemnation so that's the only way but otherwise from that literally um god don't force anyone to receive him like he's god right <laughs> he gives you a choice you have two choices as much as it looks as if there's many choices there's only two choices according to the bible there's either good or there's evil and good is god and evil is satan right or your own or following your own flesh or following your own desires your own ways um that is evil if that makes sense um but if you want you know if, so that's what i learned from romans read the book of romans guys from the book of romans i've learned that um there's only two choices in this life as much as it looks as if you you'd love you love you know because because we were born in sin our nature is that we want to do our own thing and we know better like that is our nature um you know but at the end of the day i always like if you look on the persons that you're representing is either you represent evil which is satan or you represent god right which is good and when i look at it god actually cares about me god actually cares about my future god loves me he cares for me he cares about every detail of my life he wants to know every detail of my life versus satan who does not care he would rather and then he doesn't even like to see you successful like satan does not want anyone to be successful in their purpose nothing he he literally wants the only aim of satan is to bring you to hell um and i didn't even plan to talk about this um on this video but literally that is i have to let let you guys know like there's only two choices in this life and i think analyze from you know just from a logical point of view like who cares about me the devil or satan and after analyzing of course god cares about me satan doesn't like the bible says that satan comes to kill steal and destroy so i rather to be on the good side i rather to be on a, on the side that actually cares about me and loves me and wants the best for my future so that's god so i chose god right i received christ um i caught you know i received i believed in jesus because um romans romans um 10 verse 9 to 10 talks about um believing in your heart like believing in jesus you know believe that he died on the cross for your sin and he rose again and you confessing with your mouth saying with your mouth that you believe in jesus and you receive him into your life and asking god for forgiveness then then you are saved um, and that's how you are saved really 
so yeah just want to let you guys know that so um so this is my war trolley if you haven't seen it before um i just want to get that bible journal that i because i did like a deep study of romans in this journal and it has changed my life like if you want to understand more on sin and you know why does it feel like a fight to serve god in your flesh like why is it so difficult definitely read the book of um the book of romans and um, i did like a deep study on i think that's what I'm gonna, I, I, I think that's what i'm gonna start doing like whenever i do a deep study on a book i'm gonna do like use my bible journal i even put like a note beside it <laughs> here we go you guys can see. so that's my bible journal that is romans um romans 6 verse 16 right and this is how i knew that there was only two choices so it says here don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey right it says you can be a slave to sin which leads to death or you can choose to obey god which leads to righteous living yeah so that's how i knew that there's only two choices in this life as much as you, it might look like you have choice right you actually you do have choices but it's just like if you choose to do your own thing and live your own life in whatever way you want to do it right whether it offends god or not and um, that is going to lead to a path of sin while if you choose to obey god then that will help you know that will lead you to the path of righteousness like right living right living right for god that's what it means so i put here on the notes you choose either way that will become your master so if you choose sin which is satan he will become your master and unfortunately that will lead to hell or spiritual death and um, for eternity right um but if you choose god right which is freedom from sin right then that will lead you to heaven and that will lead you to also right standing with him um, and for me, you know, it's never too late. I think the only time it will be late is if you die, right? And I don't want to really talk about this, but let me just talk about it anyway, because I feel like I'm late to talk about this today. Um, but yeah, this is the reality, guys. Um, don't want to scare anyone, but this is the reality. That's why I always say, read the book of romans and you can just read from the bible you can see that most of the things that the bible talks about is already fulfilled and it has yet to be fulfilled but um you literally will become the master of whatever you give yourself over to so whether that's sin or god right um so yeah just want to show you guys that so john 16 verse 9 let's look at verse 9 Oh yeah, I remember reading this yesterday. Um, and verse 9 says, The world's, so the world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. So here, right, Jesus was talking to his disciples and he was saying that the world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. So when you refuse to believe in Jesus, that's a sin, right? And even Romans, Romans talk about like what is sin oh yes here it is i can't even write it down romans 14 yes romans 14 verse 23 right and 23 23 23 oh yes this is it 23 says um so the nlt version says but if you have doubts about whether or not you should eat something you are sinning if you go ahead and do it for you are not following your convictions if you do anything you believe is not right you are sinning so that's the same if you do something and you know it's not right um then that's the same if you go ahead with it right the easy read version says but anyone who eats something without being sure it is right is doing wrong that is because they did not believe it was right and if you do anything that you believe is not right right if you go ahead and do something that you know is not right then that's a sin so you can see right that we do sin every day 
me, you, everybody. We sin every day. And so we do need God's forgiveness, um, which can be given when we go to him, right? So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, check out the link and Growing God resource list. Or if you want to get this as well, this is and um, my Bible study journal. Um, and this one helped me on the journey of finding God. You know in terms of knowing god better knowing jesus better and all that jazz get this like this will really help you as well um and if you want to study the bible um you know in a simpler term then definitely get this as well and um, it's my journal my bible journal prompt that i created myself for new believers so if you're you know or even if this is perfect for people who are maturing christ as well it's for everyone like if you want to study the Bible um, in depth, but also like, you know, in a unique way um, that is simple to the point and, you know, it highlights how to even apply the scriptures, definitely get this journal, guys. Um, and that will be in the description box as well. I've already, I think I did a Bible study last week um, on Freedom Friday. I, I did like a Bible study on... Um, you know do not worrying so definitely check that out um but yeah excited um so yeah so final question is what does what does your joy meter read when you realize that god not only forgives your sin but also clears you of all guilt like what is your joy meter read i would say my joy meter like i'm over the moon right because God not only forgives my sin, but he clears all my guilt. Like, you made a mistake and the person just said, you know what? I forgive you. And the slate is clean. It's like a fresh start. It's like your second chance to, like, do right, right? Um, And that's, I think that's amazing how God, you know, he still, knowing that we are flawed, but still forgives us and gives us a clean slate. That's just... <laughs> Right, that's how i know that god is merciful right very very merciful to us so yeah so i'm over the moon i'm just gonna put that i'm over the moon of knowing that god forgives and forgets my sin so that's what i put they always say, oh, forgive and forget. But truly, as humans, we never forget. We always remember. We forgive, but we never, ever forget. But God, he forgives and truly forgets everything that we've ever done. And that's amazing. So that's like our second chance. That's like us going back in time and doing the right thing, right? Our second chance. And the thing is, like, the same way that God forgives us of our sin, you know the bible challenge us that we are we also need to forgive people that have wronged us you know even if they do it time after time after time we need to forgive them time after time after time just the same way that god forgives us and you know the thing that i remember like feeling so convicted because i'm just like oh if only like my nature my see you know like your the the nature within you do not want to forgive but if you don't forgive them then god won't forgive you and that's what the scripture says right in a um, new testament so it's just it's just like crazy you know like if you won't if you say you want forgiveness from god you need to show forgiveness to others as well right so I'm using my Nivea um, lotion, very moisturizing, and that's from my soul care box. So, stuff of blessing. And then today's scripture is Psalms 31. Wow, that's crazy. So, we read Psalm 32, but the scripture here is talking about Psalms 31, and specifically verse 14. So, we're going to read verse 14, 15, and 19. So, um, let me just circle that 14 15 and 19 All right but i am trusting you O lord saying you are my god 
my future is in your hands rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly and then verse 19 says how great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you you lavish it on those who come to you for protection and bless them before the watching world amen all right so the devotional says um so wireless prayer more by Dana K. Maltese. I'm just reading. So it says one good way to throw off worry is to throw yourself on God in the midst of it. Wow. Second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour. Put yourself into the hands of of into the hands of one of the one who loves and protects you. The one who be, the one who longs to talk to you walk with you and carry you when necessary no matter what your troubles or worries god will find a unique way of making good count of making good come out of anything and everything that comes your way which is so true um romans eight twenty eight man and says so escape into so escape into god knowing he has a stock of blessed knowing that he has a stock of blessings waiting just for you right so today we're reminded that we can run to god with our worries with our problems you know and remembering that we god has a stock of blessing waiting for us and we just need to turn to him and then at the bottom here <clears throat> has like a little quote and it says my worries evaporate when i put myself in your hands lord in you a stock of blessings are waiting for are waiting just for me so we're reminded today that when we come to god with our worries that god has many blessings waiting for us in return not only that you know you can when you trust god um you know when you trust in the lord um he will take even the very bad situation and turn it around for his good you know romans let me just go to romans and read it to you read, read it to you guys um where is it okay found it so it says here and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. So, yeah, God will turn every bad situation, everything. And it's, it's crazy how God can take the good out of the bad, right? He, he it's, it's crazy how God can take, yeah, the good out of a bad situation. That's crazy. But he can and he will do that. That like even though like for the past six months, you know, I've been on this mental health roller coaster. Um, but after, you know, the season has ended for me, I'm looking back and I'm like, God, I see why I went through it. I see why it was necessary for me to go through it because you're clearly preparing me for something for my next season. What? You know, when I was going through it, it was so painful. Like, you know, when, you know, um, there's this thing called either you're going through the discipline season or the pruning season. And I feel like I was going through both at the same time because I was like, it was so emotional. Like, you guys even understand as much as you see me like doing videos every single week, you know, literally for the past six months, I've been going through like emotional i was going through an emotional um roller coaster from from august to like you know january it's, it's crazy but um yeah but to god be the glory he does take even the good out of the bad situation you know i just have to i just have to be thankful and grateful that i'm here you know still serving god and still connected to my father um it wasn't easy you know but i just thank god anyway for that um but yeah so we've read a devotional 
we did a bit of um joy you know we chit chat we had some tea um i think i have like okay we have five minutes left guys <laughs> so um i think that's that's all you know i'm gonna just i was gonna do like a prior journal but that's what i mean like you might not do everything in your soul care you know you might plan that oh you're gonna use this you're gonna use like three resources but you might not have time to even do that right um which is why it's 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 nice to have like a short little you know something so literally we can have we can you know we can write we're grateful for today so in five minutes let's do that so today i'm grateful for life um i'm grateful for uh, my family and i'm just grateful for you know a new day like seeing a new day i guess it's the same thing as life right okay i'll just put new day slash life and the final thing i would say is grace i would say god's grace because if it wasn't for his grace like where would we be today right so that's what i'm grateful for today i'm grateful for a new day slash life i'm grateful for family and i'm grateful for god's unfailing grace you know we talk about forgiveness today so i'm just grateful for that and um today's scripture because we read a few scriptures but i think um the number one scripture that stood out was psalms right psalms 32 like psalms is my favorite book guys that like, you don't understand i love psalms oh it's so amazing i even i even like made like this page like I made like a extra page in my Bible. Um I added an extra page in my Bible using washi tape. And like I put all the Psalms that David wrote. And um, you know, it's part of the challenge, it's part of the um quiet time winter collection challenge. But I'm gonna be praying these Psalms unto God. You know, if you don't want if you don't know what to pray, you can you can pray it from the Bible, you can pray with the Psalms, you can pray to the scriptures um so yeah so today's scripture um yeah i think the scripture for today the main scripture that i'll be looking at today is um psalms 32 so we'll put that there psalms 32 and that's verse 3 so I put I choose I chose this scripture because that stood out to me the most just to remind me that you know that confession is good for us. That's what I'm reminded like confession is good for us. So you know I put I just put down the verse um when I refuse to confess my sin. my body my body wasted away i literally just put today's scripture and then i put like what i'm grateful for and then you can literally fill out what you want what your plans are for today um so that's my little daily planner if you'd like this little planner definitely consider signing up um to the patreon it's available to all patrons um to download and all that jazz so yeah so you see what i mean you don't need to use like this big planner here you know this big journal here um because you might not have time like literally we have 56 seconds like that's how crazy time goes by and literally i set like an hour for this so if you don't have time you can do do a little short gratitude and a short um scripture for today you know after you've done your own devotional or you can use your own prior journal whichever um or you can use like the bible journal prompt which is quite easy as well to um get like your study in like you know like 30 minutes max right um to the point simple and to the point all right so um yeah, guys i think that's everything i think that's the end of mine 
soul care routine but i just want to um close in prayer for all those who you know haven't received christ um and i think i shared the gospel today guys <laughs> which is crazy um it wasn't planned to be honest it wasn't planned um like that um but you know you just have to you just have, you just have to leave go where the holy spirit leaves you so today clearly god wants us to focus on the importance of confession the importance of repentance which is turning away from your sin and turning to god and you know we are reminded that god is merciful he is full of grace and if you do go to god and ask him to forgive you he will like there's no there's no um there's no mess that is impossible to be erased if that makes sense because god is the one that erases all our sins you know it's forgotten it's forgiven and it's forgotten by god so it's never too late the fact that you're alive today there is still hope right because i've i've heard loads of testimony of people who were following sin you know they were you know in witchcraft and those things and they have turned away from that you know so if they can do it you can do that too so i just want to pray for you right now if you are watching this i just want to pray right now hallelujah father god i just want to thank you for today thank you lord for you know being with us on this little quiet time you know slash soul care routine father god, i just pray right now for any viewer that's on the other side lord i pray that if they are battling on the decision to follow you god i pray that today will be the day that they give their life to you lord i pray that today will be the day that they will accept your son jesus christ who died on the cross and rose again hallelujah father god i just pray that you will work in their hearts today god i pray that you will release whatever and that's been holding them back from fully serving and surrendering to you lord i pray that today is a day that they will confess with their mouth and say and believe that jesus died on the cross and for their sins and he rose again lord open their heart i pray soften that hardened heart right now lord god lord i pray that you will turn their hearts towards you lord i pray that you will rekindle that love for you again lord and those who don't even know you god i pray that that you will just give them such a a love for you god that is beyond beyond comprehension right now that they will change their life and surrender to you fully today today is a day of salvation hallelujah lord i just want to thank you for this channel thank you for using me as a vessel I just pray that your will will continue to be done in my life and in their life right now, Lord. Let your will be done. Lord, your word says that you will you will turn everything around for their good. Hallelujah. That you will take um a good situation that you will the bad situation that they're going through right now, that you will take the good out of it, Father God. I just pray that they will trust you even as they're watching this right now, that they will trust you during this time, Lord God take full control right now i pray cover them under the blood supply every need that they need oh god today in jesus mighty name amen so i just want to thank you for joining me on this little quiet time um and i just pray that you have a blessed sunday happy soul care sunday <laughs> right um and i pray that um god will just come to work on your heart and going to transform you and change you um you know to be better versions of ourselves you know to be a better version of yourself each and every day with his help trust me it is possible like this morning like last night i remember praying i went to bed at 12 and i said god help me please not even that help me i said god please wake me up at 5 a.m please because i know that i struggle with waking up that early i never wake up that early like the probably the earliest i'll ever wake up is mostly is six six o'clock right so literally god woke me up at 5 a.m without the alarm like literally i didn't hear any alarm like literally when i say god woke me up at 5 a.m on the dot just before the alarms even went off like my eyes opened up and i'm like it's 5 a.m. I don't hear an alarm. The alarm didn't go off. 
until like maybe a couple seconds after i was like god you are amazing like thank you for waking me up i didn't think it was possible to wake up at 5 a.m you know and i'm just praying that god will continue to wake me up at this time because this is the best time to spend time with god like just quietness and serene like oh it's amazing so anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye crystallites